Thank you. Is Mickey Mouse about to lose his house? It seems woke Disney fairy tales equal low ticket sales. Box office analysis of Disney's last eight studio releases show a shocking loss of nearly one billion dollars. <laughs> That's almost a lawsuit. <laughs> it's gotten so bad, Cruel DeVille is selling dogs at Chipotle. Oh. Pocahontas had to open a casino. <laughs> that's, that's solid. And Peter Pan had to cancel his gender affirmation surgery. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. <laughs> that's according to a number crunch by prominent YouTuber Valiant Renegade, who argues that many of Disney's recent so-called hits barely broke even or flat out tanked. That includes big budget Marvel movies like Black Panther 2, Ant-Man 3, as well as animation bombs like Strange World and Lightyear, and my favorite, Snow White in the Seven Drag Queens. <laughs> The latest Indiana Jones, also produced by Disney, could suffer a similar fate if the terrible reviews are anything to go by. It doesn't look good. I'm told 80-year-old Indiana Jones spends the entire film looking for the men's room. <laughs> for some of us, that is a treasure. And what does this say about Disney? Once a cultural icon of American family values had succumbed to the siren song of wokeism, devolving into an out-of-touch and desperate divorced dad bereft of imagination. Fact is, we all liked Mickey Mouse before he started scolding us about people's pronouns. But lefties can make you learn to hate everything, from Disney to school teachers to sports. But maybe we're misremembering just how wholesome their classic movies really were. I mean, check out this old cartoon. This just in, the Irish are moving into the neighborhood. Oh, holy Those <laughs> paddy whacks are taking over. Not those drunken Catholics. Those guys are perverts. Oh, okay, Pluto, we're gonna have to shoot our way out of this one. Oh, oh they're here. <laughs> you, <laughs> mother <laughs> Die! <laughs> this is what happens when you give women the right to vote. <laughs> you know, okay. Kennedy, I uh, love him or hate the old Disney. They had some good ideas. <laughs> you know, with the women voting thing hasn't worked out too well. Uh, what do you what do you uh, make of this? Uh, what's going on with Disney? Do you think it's all about wokeism? It can't be. Uh, no, not necessarily. I, I, I think that they send so much stuff to Disney Plus that it really got oversaturated. And things have to be so special to spend as much money as we do going to movies. Like, most people cannot afford family movie tickets even for a night. So now they have, like, dine-in movie theaters where they're trying to lure you in with nachos and booze, which works for me pretty much every Saturday Ooh. night because I'm only buying one ticket because I leave my cats at home. <laughs> But if, if there, there's something else that's very creepy about Disney, and we have to bring this up, and that's the fact that the mom dies in pretty much every movie, and Disney has been unable to reconcile that, mm -hmm. and now there are all these theories that, like, Nemo was killed as well, and his dad, is, it's like the sixth sense, and he's just looking for the kid who wasn't there because they all got eaten by the shark. Wow, I had, did not <laughs> see that coming. <laughs> At all. <laughs> you know what sucks about Disney? How pathetic it is that you can't sell Disney. That's like be not being able to sell ice cream or something. Like, they, if you want to become, have an easy job as a salesman, you know, go work for Ben and Jerry's, where everybody loves ice cream. Everybody loves, but they managed to screw up Disney. How can you make it so that nobody likes Disney? You, you attack yourself, and that's exactly what they've done. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at all the movies, look at movies like Bambi or Fox and the Hound. Dead I mom. mean, they tackle... Dead Life and death, they tackle, I mean, Fox and the Hound are two animals that are supposed to want to kill each other. Like, they tackle real life stuff or they tackle, tackle the completely imaginative stuff like Peter Pan. But even in there are real world issues that people actually deal with. When you start making movies that attack that, when you start making movies that, that create problems rather than, than literally just highlighting the ones that exist, what is left for people to identify with? Mm -hmm. When we want to go watch a movie that's outside of this world, we go watch 80-year-old Tom Cruise fly a jet mm -hmm. and kill a bunch of probably Russians, but they never really say. Yeah. You know, that, that's the kind of movie we want to see. When we watch Disney wholesome movies with our kids, we want to walk away knowing our kids learned something about life that we haven't quite been able to put into words, but this cartoon helped us figure out. You know what, Kat? Disney should do a movie about the naked bike riders. <laughs> Could learn something from that. Thank you. 
I don't really think you could learn anything from that. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear. Uh, but actually, well, I think Disney should rebrand because mm -hmm. they are struggling to make money from their movies at mm -hmm. this point. Mm -hmm. But they make a lot of money from their corn dogs. Oh, at Disney? Yes, they can sell a corn dog for $10 at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Anybody else tries to do that, they'll be like, get out of my face. But yeah. Disney, so the movie business is failing, but the corn dog business mm -hmm. is flourishing. It is, and who doesn't love a corn dog? I really do. I know. So do the naked bike riders. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> Watch them eating that. Yeah. All right, to me. I can boil this down for you for real. Like, this is actually a semi-serious point. Uh, here we go. The wokeism is what's hurting them, though, for real, because Disney's core customer is parents. Right. And they're lecturing parents about inclusion while they're charging them $200 to get in, yeah. which is the most exclusionary thing yeah. you've ever heard in your life, is the prices. Mm -hmm. So that's where it is. They're out of touch with the value of the customer. Pretty soon they're going to have a version of Sleeping Beauty starring Bill Cosby. OK, yeah. nobody wants that. <laughs> I'm just saying. They're, I like that. Again, they're blaming you yeah. for Bill Cosby. Again, I got in trouble again. I'm not mixing these drinks. He's not guys, Bill, guys, guys, what's guys, going on here? Hold on. They're confused. Yeah, this is not Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah, I'm not him. There might be some confusion. They, they gave me, they gave me a little tan and makeup here, but I'm not audience. quite that good. But that's where it is. So on some level, I'm, I like watching them tank. Mm -hmm. because they're going to be forced into a course correction. Yeah. Okay. That's the way it always works. Yeah. Everybody always, they go too far, too far, too far, and then they go, Yeah. They embraced a lot of things. That happens that when want. I'm driving and I keep going past the <laughs> bathroom. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what you should do? What? You should sit on a second phone book so it's yeah. easier to see over uh, the dash. <laughs> you know, that was, un yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's what happens to me when I'm too far away from the bathroom. Like, I'm too far, I'm too far, I <laughs> oh, no. All right. I can't run. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.